Hey everyone, in this video we have to integrate x to the fourth over x minus 1 solution. So whenever you have a polynomial over a polynomial and the degree in the numerator is bigger or the same, you can use long division. In this case we can use synthetic division because we're dividing by x minus 1. So let's go ahead and use synthetic division and see what happens. So when you're using synthetic division, when you're dividing by x minus 1, you flip the sign. So you put a 1 here and you draw this funny bracket. And now you have to write down the coefficients of the numerator. You want to think of the numerator as 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0. You want to think of it as a full quartic. So the first coefficient is 1. Then it's 0 for the x cubed, 0 for the x squared, 0 for the x, and 0 for the constant. And then you draw a line. And again, we know to do this because the degree here is bigger than the one on the bottom. If they're equal, you can also do this strategy. All right, so in synthetic division, the first thing you do is you bring this number down, so 1. Then you multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. And then you add. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then you multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. You add, you get 1. Multiply, you get 1. You add, you get 1. Multiply, you get 1. You add, you get 1. Wow, lots of 1s everywhere. Ridiculous. So now we can write down... Um, what we have. So our integral will be it's x to the fourth over x minus 1 dx and it's equal to the integral and basically it's going to be this and you start with one less okay so this is a 4 so one less is cubed so 1 times x cubed plus 1 times x squared plus 1 times x plus 1 okay and then plus 1, that's the remainder, over the divisor, x minus 1, parentheses, dx. Let me go over that again, and I'll use a different color to explain it. So recap, you see the problem? The 4 is bigger than the 1. So whenever that happens, or whenever they're the same, you can always use uh, division. In this case, we use synthetic. So you flip the sign, and you put this number here. Then you write down the coefficients, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. You write those down, then you bring it down, so 1. Then you multiply, 1 times 1 is 1. You add, you get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. You add, you get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. You add, you get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. You add, you get 1. That's the remainder, right? That's the remainder. And then it's equal to the quotient. This is called the quotient, by the way. And you start at 1 less. There's a 4 up here, so 1 less is 3. So 1 times x cubed, 1 times x squared, 1 times x plus 1. Oh, and then it's remainder over the divisor. That's called the divisor. All right, uh, let's finish this. This is a really easy u substitution. Um, it's just going to, if you make a u sub here, du is dx. Let me just show you. And so the integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx becomes 1 over u du, and that gives you ln absolute value of u, which is simply x minus 1, so plus c. I wanted to skip the work for that. So this is equal to, let's see, using the power rule on these guys. So x to the 4 over 4 plus x to the 3 over 3 plus x squared over 2, right, adding 1, and then integrating 1, you get x, and then you get the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1, and you have your plus c. And that, my friends, is the final answer. So kind of an interesting problem. Um, got to use synthetic division, so not something uh, we use that often, I guess. And I hope that made sense.